this room that we're in too, the 86 hall is right on the other side there. So when we were in that 86 hall, we could have walked through that hallway right there and come into the library. But don't use this as a portion of the library to screen you. You can't allow to walk from here to here. So to Go back. Right. Go back. Yes. <laughs> exactly right. Yes. Now, I do let kids walk through the gym now. I do let them walk through the gym. No, you can't do that. Well, if I didn't, I'd have a riot in the freshman hallway every day. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll show it to him well, when we get home. I'll try to send the video to him. <laughs> well, I'll just let him see it. Let him see it at home. Yep, we would do it too. This is a pretty good library. Hey, look, they have law books and religious books and other stuff. No backpacks in the library. Wow, they don't even have backpacks. Ew, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> art class, so this is the art room. I might want to do this. That's the same with the middle school. It's the photography class and the art room as well. I wonder if they have a dark room in here. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's sculpture. <laughs> They left one with his head in the garbage can, and she, and she, our early morning custodian thought the night custodian had died with his head in the garbage can. That's how that happened here last year. Was that Gail? So Lisa, well, that, that's, that's true. So, and I took, yeah, and the dummies are, they're pretty cool. See, I wish that there were some out now, but there aren't. I've got one at home. My kids use, when they watch WWE, they use it as a test dummy. They pass it all over my house, so. Um, but our art program is very extensive here, and both of our teachers do a very, very, very good job. So I don't remember who the art teacher was when we were here. We've been through several. Uh, I remember Miss Burchette at the middle school. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't remember, was it Miss Hughes? She was here when I first started teaching. I, I didn't what? take art in this school. Oh, that guy right there with the glasses. Maybe that's what we should have done. So that's his friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was trying to like look. I'm trying to look and see which one he was because I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. Hey man, you should uh, tell him that um, I'm taking a video so he doesn't piss me about taking pictures. Just tell him that I took a, I'm taking a video of the tour. Yay, the cafeteria! My favorite. This will probably be my favorite place in the entire school. <laughs> yeah, this is where you. This is where. Cafeteria. Whoa! No injuries, huh? I'm actually going to sit down on one of these. 
I'm gonna use this as a tripod. What? I'm gonna use this as kind of like a tripod. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. like, like, Well, see, I, hopefully it doesn't turn sideways, because it'll probably be sideways. So this is where we run about 350 kids through at a time that we have four lunch waves now. Um, and that extends our third block. I didn't mention that. We're, we're, uh, we're now on a block schedule for those of you that don't have kids here. Our kids take four classes a day, just like a college Tuesday, Thursday schedule. Okay. And then they change classes at Christmas, so they take eight classes a year. And that enables them to get 32 credits before they get out of here. And that enables what? all that upper level stuff that we talked about before. We do work at a pretty rapid pace. Some kids adjust, some kids don't, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's, it's, it's good for them before they get out of here if they do want to go to college. It really is a great for that stuff. So, and then we have a few classes, some of the advanced placement classes that go all year long. Our freshman algebra, if you don't take algebra at the middle school, if you take algebra one here, you take it all year long. We want you to have a really good basic math. So in, in our AC class, we're going to kids well on the AC class. So about 350 kids go through lunch here at a time. There's only one place to get lunch in terms of in our building. It's in, it's in, in these garage doors. There's a variety of lines. There's a taco line. There's the sandwich line. All sorts of there's the regular school lunch line. So they kind of combine the small and large cafeterias. Yeah, they do the same at the middle school, and too. And the kids have about 27 minutes to eat. Teachers can eat lunch quicker than any profession, okay? And principals can eat quicker than that when we do get to eat. So um, it, this works very efficiently. The kids are very good in here. We don't have food fights like we used to in our kids. That does not food happen. Fights? There are five principals in here every lunch, and we make sure we're in here. They, and they do. Our kids are wrong. Uh, and we very rarely, and I'm very proud of this too, I would never see a kid sitting alone at a table. Even if they're brand new, somebody walks up to them and says, come and sit on the table. So our kids are inclusive. Everybody in the room. So a little bit different than you and I were here too. We're at about 13% minority. So um, between Somalis, Hispanic, African American, we have a very large population of minorities here now. We have about 15 languages spoken in our building now, if you can believe that. You talk about a change in landscape, um, that's very different for, for me to think back when I was a senior here. We had very few even African Americans here. And now we have, I, I got a kid here last year that was 17 from the Honduras that hadn't been to school in five years. So he became a 17-year-old freshman, you know, so, so we, we do deal with lots of situations like that, and 99% of them are successful before they get out of the We're very proud of that, too. Um, with the changing landscape and the workforce of Amazon and the places that we have over here, we've got to be ready for whatever comes with that. And there are lots of jobs where people move in, and they're transient as well. They may only be here for a year. So we have to give them credits, get their credits adjusted, and then they're going to move on someplace else. So, but we do have a very large Somali population, so, and, and that started three years ago. So, and that's the, I have no idea why, but they're all really good kids. They're all great kids. So, we do extensive work with them as well. So, when that school rating came out the other day, it was we were very highly rated, but we were S, we were whatever they call it now, CSI, no TSI, Targeted Student Improvement. Our targeted student improvement group is minorities. 